This video is all about how to create a new YouTube channel step by step. Also, I will be sharing important optimization settings that many people tend to leave out, but which will help you get the most out of your channel, even if you've already created a channel. So let's dive right in. So the first thing you need to do when you want to create a new YouTube channel is to head over to youtube.com and sign in in the top right hand corner. And you are prompted to log in. So if you already have a Google account or a Gmail account, this is where you will log in with that if you want to associate that with your YouTube account. If you don't have one yet, then you can just click create account down here and create one. There are two types of channels that you can create. The first is a personal channel and that is linked to your personal Google or personal Gmail account. And only you can access or only people who are logging into that account with your username and password are able to manage that YouTube channel. The second option you have is to manage a business channel. And this is going to give you access to things like a custom channel name. And you can also allocate other people or other Google accounts to help manage your channel. So you need to select either a personal channel or to manage a business channel. But be aware that you can switch from a personal channel to a business channel at a later date. So for this example, I'm going to choose manage my business channel. So now we can create a new Gmail or Google account. So here you want to add in your first name, last name, and then click on create new Gmail address instead. Type in your new Gmail address, then fill in your password details down here and click on next. So again, you want to complete this section with your date of birth and gender. The rest is optional. And then just keep following the process. If you already have an existing business, you have the option to now create a business profile on Google. And you can see that it has opened that in a separate tab. So I'm going to skip this step and click on the YouTube tab. So on this page, you can come up to the top right hand corner to your little profile picture. And if you don't have a channel yet, so this is your first time logging in, you can click here to create a channel. Now, if you already have an existing channel, but maybe you want to create a business channel, for example, all you have to do is come down here and click on settings and go over to add or manage your channels. And here it will show you all the channels that you already have access to. You can then create a new channel just by clicking in the box with the plus icon. So I'm going to go back to our new channel setup. This is where it is asking us if we want to create a new channel using our name, or if you want to use a custom name, which is creating a channel using a brand or other name and picture. So I'm going to select use a custom name. Now this is where you can choose your YouTube channel name. Now it could be that you're still opting to use your personal name and there's nothing wrong with that. But if you're not going to be using your personal name, I would suggest that you try to keep the name you put here somehow related to the content that you're going to be adding to your channel just to give people clarity from the start. But be aware that it is possible to change your channel name after you set it. So don't worry too much about this. So I'm going to call this channel Simple Country Living, just as an example. I understand I'm creating a new Google account with its own settings. And then I will click Create. So the next step here is to upload a profile picture. Click on upload picture. I will choose a picture of me on my computer. Once you got your profile picture in, you can come down here and they are asking you now to tell your viewers about your channel. So this is your YouTube channel description. So what you want to add to this part is a few specific sentences or two or three paragraphs about who you are, what your channel is about, and what viewers can expect on your channel. So what is the type of content that you're going to be posting basically? 
Another important tip here is that you can actually give your channel and videos the best chance of ranking on YouTube by adding in relevant keywords and key tags around the content that you're going to be posting. So in other words, we want to use the opportunity to add keywords and key tags into our channel description to help us rank faster. So here's my main channel and my channel description, just to give you a clearer picture of the types of things that you can put in there. So you can see I'm starting off with introducing myself and my channel. Welcome to Natural Vita Tutorials, and then what my channel is all about. Next, I'm talking about the types of videos that I post on this channel. I also encourage people to subscribe if they want. And I also have linked here a free video which explains step-by-step -step how to monetize your YouTube channel and things to be aware of. So that's also a nice incentive for people to stick around and check out more things that you're offering. I will link that video at the end of this video, by the way, for you to have a look as well. But you can see in this description, I have got a few keywords or tags that are related to the content that I post. For example, we've got online marketing, video conferencing, video editing tutorials, YouTube startup videos. So these keywords give people a clearer idea about whether they want to subscribe to your channel, but also it helps YouTube understand what your channel is all about as well. So I'm just going to copy and paste what I've got on my main channel description right here. So if we scroll down, next up, you're going to add links to your sites and to your social media profile. So we can add in our website here and give it a name. You can add in a Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram if you have one. And we click on save and continue. All right, so our channel is taking shape. Also be aware that once you have created your new channel, you have the option to create as many channels as you like by clicking on your profile image. Come down to settings, click on add or manage your channels. I can now add a new channel to the list by clicking in the box with the plus icon here. When you do this, you got to remember that you can create as many new channels as you like with your Google account. But when you want to monetize any of the channels that you got, you always got to use the same AdSense account to receive money from your channel content once you're eligible to start making money from your videos. So in other words, you can have multiple channels, but only one Google AdSense account. So I'm just going to go back to my Simple Country Living channel by switching accounts. So the next step is to verify your channel. This is going to give you access to extra features for your channel. So you wanna come up here again to your profile image, come down to settings, click on channel status and features. You can see that these are the different things that you can have access to. And the way to access them is to verify your channel. Click on verify phone number, select your country, you can either do it with an automated text message or you can get a text message sent to your phone. Then enter the verification code and your channel is now verified. So you can see that it doesn't take much to verify your channel and you can see straight away that we have access now to videos longer than 15 minutes, custom thumbnails, live streaming and more. So once all these features are enabled, you can move across to advanced setting. This is something that you will need to specify. So whether you're creating content that is made for kids or not. So you can choose the option. Yes, this channel is made for kids. So it's going to have kids content on it. Or no, this channel is not made for kids. You also have a third option here. I want to review this setting for every video. So you can manually set this on a per video basis as well. So I'm going to go with, no, this channel is not made for kids. Also, if you have a Google AdSense account, you can link it down here. And when we move across to basic info, if you want to add a location for your channel, 
you can add that in here. This is also where we are able to add in some keywords or key tags related with our channel to again let YouTube know what our channel and our content is about. So I'm going to start off with Natura Vita and I'm using a comma to separate each word or phrase. Tutorials, online marketing, tutorials. So you got to ask yourself, what are the things that people can search for to potentially find your channel? And that is what you want to put in here. Also, it is important that you only add keywords in here that is relevant to your channel. So below that, we have upload defaults. So click on that. So for the most part, I would say that you leave the title and the description empty because they're going to relate to each video. But you can still set things like visibility. So for example, do you want every video to go as unlisted first while you get it all set up and then make it public at your own time? Likewise with tags, if there are some tags that are going to apply to every one of your videos, but whatever you put in here is going to show up automatically when you upload every video. And there is more upload defaults under advanced setting as well. So those are the main settings in here that you want to go through. So now we can click on save to come out of that. Now, when we click on our avatar in the top right hand corner and your channel, and then click on customize channel on the layouts tab, once we start posting videos, we can add a channel trailer and a feature video for returning visitors in this section by clicking on add. We can also organize our channel by adding sections here as well. But now let's move across to branding. This is where we can add in our channel art or our branding to make this look and feel like our brand. So I'm going to upload a channel art, which I have saved on my computer by clicking on upload. So I had someone on Fiverr create this channel art for me for $5. Fiverr is a great website to check out if you want to create professional designs like YouTube channel art or thumbnails for a very low budget like $5. But if you don't want to go down that route, there are plenty of websites and tutorials online about how to create one for yourself. This is a little branding watermark that you can add to your videos. It gives your subscribers the opportunity to subscribe to your channel at any time while watching your video. So you can just use your profile picture. So for me, I'm just going to choose this image, which I got off Google. And then you can also choose when you want this displayed. So whether it is on screen the entire time, whether it starts at five seconds in, or whether it is only showing at the end of the video. So I'm going to set this to start at 10 seconds in so that it's going to be after my ads. So now if we click on basic info, we can obviously see our description in here, which we've already added. If we need to make any changes to it, we can edit that here by clicking on the pencil icon. We can also add an email address for business inquiries. And this just makes it easier for people to find an email address to contact us. So now all we need to do is to hit publish so now that our channel is pretty close to being set up, we can now go through and add in any managers or any other accounts that we would like to have as managers on our channel. To do that, come back up here to your profile picture, go down to settings, and then you can add and remove managers down here by clicking on the link. So if we go back to our channel homepage now, this channel is now set up and ready to go for you to start uploading content. We can upload our first video by clicking on the upload icon up here. So that is a complete step-by-step -step tutorial on creating and setting up your YouTube channel. If you found this video useful, like it, subscribe for more videos like this one, and share it if you think other people can benefit from it. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.